What's up, good people? It is your favorite glam girl, Tiffany D. Tiffany D in the place to be. Tiffany D in the place to be. Tiffany D in the place to be. And welcome to my YouTube channel. This is great. So excited to be here. <laughs> Today, we are giving you pink Barbie vibes, honey. Get into this makeup, honey. Yeah. Why am I like this? I don't know. George, that's my psychiatrist. Today, we are going to be playing with the new Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy palette. I know I'm late. I've had this palette for a minute. Just haven't had an opportunity to film a look with it. Today is the first time I played with this. So in the video, you will get my thoughts on it. You will see how the colors blend, how the mattes work, how the shimmers work. There's some pressed glitters in there. I show you the palette. You know, I'm not doing swatches because I, I'm not really a swatch girl. Swatches don't really do it for me. Ain't nobody got time for that. This palette has been out for a while now, so I know you guys have already seen it, so I'm not going to do that in the video, but I do show you how I get this beautiful Barbie look. She's giving you Barbie. She's giving you Pink Friday. She's giving you I'm on his yacht. He's at the office, but I'm at home ready to pack up and hit Rodeo Drive, ready to take a drive out to Malibu to see my girlfriends and have lunch. <laughs> hey, Bethany. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's jump right into this face. This face needs a whole lot of work. She needs to be chiseled. She needs the jaws of life. She needs Derek. Derek. So today we are going to be using the new Amrezy Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I have a lot of thoughts on this palette. Uh, I'll show you as if you've been living under a rock and haven't seen this palette already. I'm going to be a good YouTuber and show you anyway. I won't be doing swatches because I feel like swatches lie. The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you the lies. I'm telling you. When you take the palette out of the carton, focus, Mary. Here are the shades in the palette. Beautiful shade range. Uh, I definitely feel like these are going to be uh, black girl friendly, brown girl friendly, Latina girl friendly. Let's do the brows first. Oh my God. Hoodwink, bamboozle, flabbergasted, you're fired, cancel. Yes, yes, I do my brows before anything. After I blend and contour and highlight and blush and shadow and cut crease and inner corner highlight, I really don't feel like going back to the brows. And there's been times where I've forgotten about my brows completely, okay? Beat face, brows where clocked out early where is she Thelma where you at sis and I feel like I can't function correctly in my makeup routine unless I do my brows first there may be a day where I try to do my base first and then my brows blasphemy but today's not that day boo it's not that day let's start off with some moisture because shorty's skin is dry as the Sahara Desert. And I do have a couple new products here that I've never tried before. This is the first one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. Everybody's been ranting and raving about this. I bought the small size because of this bullshit. And I, oop. <laughs> At least I didn't spend a whole bunch of money on it. Ooh, this packaging is pretty. It looks expansive. Let's just throw some of this on the face. I don't know how much you're supposed to use a dollar, but my face is ashy so i'm going to use about this much oh mm. smells like your typical moisturizer feels nice on the skin are you supposed to use your fingertips or your palms i don't know oh well oh well a little bit more because my skin is mad dry she mad dry son she mad dry b it's brick out here shorty practicing my new york lingo for when i go to new york you know find me a little hood rat 
I am the hood rat. You're the hood rat, Tiffany. This feels nice and luxurious on the skin. Maybe the magic of it is when you put your makeup on top of it, but we'll see. Okay, so we're moisturized. Let's move on to primer. Today I'm gonna go in with Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I love this. She is a staple in my makeup routine. As you can see, Shorty has hit pan and Shorty needs a new one, okay? So let's just apply this. My nose is uh, super textured, I feel. So I really focus this definitely on my T-zone. Places where my, my little acne is horrible, which is everywhere! Press her in. A lot of people say that they don't believe in primers, but honestly, after I used this primer, I was like, the witchery, the witchcraft. This is such, it's pricey. She's 52 US American dollars. <laughs> <laughs> semicolon however she works honey she works she works she works okay love her never gonna deny her so after I apply my primer I do go in with this trick that I picked up from Savannah Silver here on YouTube she is so dope she is so bomb she is so funny and thank you so much for putting me on to this I have horrible smile lines <laughs> gorgeous smile but these smile lines ruin shorty's makeup on a daily and so now here's the trick take your mac pro longwear paint pot and i'm going to use the shade groundwork and this is chow this works this works watch 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 you might have just done something, sister, queen, sis, ebony goddess. Take it on a tiny little sponge and you put it on your smile lines. Oh my God, when I tell you this trick works, this trick works, like it works. And before I was using a lighter shade, so when I would put my foundation over it, it was peeking through a little bit. So make sure you find a shade that works well with your skin tone for this. Savannah's a beast. She's a cannon, so she can use any shade and make it work. And you, you won't even see it through the foundation because she's just that chick. She's just that guru. I'm not. Mm, I need one close to my shade because my channel is a learning channel. I am not a cosmetologist. I am not a pro. She does not have her certificate, her certification in cosmetology. I feel like my channel is gonna be more so for the everyday girl who wants that snatched face to make it look like she went to school for it, but in all actuality, reality, factuality, she didn't. That's the kind of chick I am. Okay, so while that's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and start my brows. Judge your mother. Matter of fact, let me bring you in. Come on in. My camera's so ignorant, it just cut right off. So, like I was saying, if you are not a pro, then you should definitely do your brows before you do the rest of your makeup because then it gives you more leave room. Say what? It gives you more leeway to carve them out the way that you want them without messing up your base. So we're gonna continue to flick and then you do a light hand and bring this line in. A very light hand because this is very pigmented. So pigmented. <laughs> you flick up slightly in the front. Flick up slightly in the front. Like you want minimal product up there. And you just brush it. And to make the tail a little bit darker, I'm gonna go in with my Eco Brow in the shade Rita. And I'm gonna take my mama 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 where is it here we go here we go we found it she's good back in business crisis averted this is my anastasia beverly hills brow brush and this is so fine uh, so i just like to take a little bit of that rita shade kind of like right here and kind of brush that through just on the end where i want it to be darker and don't worry, it looks like shit right now, but we're gonna carve it out and it's gonna look better. <laughs> These things is dork. I'm gonna take some of my concealer. This is Too Faced Born This Way. Butterscotch Multi Sculpting Use Sculpting Concealer. This concealer is bomb. We're just gonna carve out the brow with that. And what I just do is put some concealer on the back of my hand, dab it in there on both sides, and then I go in and carve.
What I do is just lay it flat on there and kind of use the side of the circle of the brush, this part right here, and that's what I use to kind of lay the brush flat and let that guide the concealer. Boom, now I'm gonna go ahead and carve the other side out and I'll be right back. 2,000 years later. Okay, so for now, these are good. We're gonna come back to the brows after we're finished everything, just to fine tune them. So here's what they're looking like so far, not related at all. Now we're gonna jump into the eyes. The first and foremost thing that you need to do is prime them eyeballs. And today, since we're using Anastasia palette, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I got the mini to try it out. I actually quite like it. I usually use the P. Louise base, and I love that base. That base is mm -hmm, bomb, but honestly, guys, no tea, no shade. Concealer works just as well. And I like this shade when you're doing colorful looks, but I'm honest, I see, ah, you, there's melanin customers too, boo. We need some colors too, so make this eye primer in some more colors and we'll be good to go. Now don't take it all the way up to the brow. You see where I'm stopping? I'm not stopping at the brow because I don't want my brow bone to be white. Ooh, this one is... Stark White, Tony Stark White. If you don't watch Marvel, we're not friends. Get off the channel right now, unsubscribe. Wait, don't unsubscribe. Matter of fact, subscribe, okay? <laughs> She's a brown skin girl in this world trying to bring you all the tea. So I would appreciate it if you would just come join the family, like squat up, you know? Like comment, subscribe. I mean, I know you dig my personality already. We have so much fun. All right, so now that we're all blended in. <laughs> Let's go in with her. I know that Anastasia Beverly Hills has been coming out with so many freaking palettes. Every other day, there's a palette. The first palette I got from Anastasia was the Modern Renaissance palette. And I just feel like subsequently palettes after that weren't intriguing to me. I wasn't falling head over heels like, oh my God, I gotta get that palette. Until my girl, oh my god, I love this palette so much. She, Jackie Anna's palette, reinvigorated my love for Anastasia shadows because after Modern Renaissance, I wasn't moved to buy a palette until this one. Oh my ever loving homie redeemer methodist christian baptist youth of asia church baptist church this palette is stunning i know that we're not like featuring this palette today but we will oh yeah we're gonna have a video dedicated because this palette as you can see is well loved well used by me every single time i go to sit down and do my shadows i pick up this palette it is so stunningly beautiful and that brings me to the amrezy palette first of all shout out to amrezy she's a bad Bitch, honey, yes. And this palette is gorgeous, it is. It's got two more shades than your standard palette, so it's got 16 shades in it. And what I love most about this that some people probably will hate is that it's mostly glitters. I live for that. The mattes, how they perform, do matter to me. Obviously, we need mattes. Everything can't be a shimmer look. But if I'm looking from a consumer standpoint, this, this palette is <coughs> 49 US American currency dollars zolas <laughs> that's a bit pricey for a palette especially when you have bh cosmetics and you have juvia's place and you have ColourPop and you have all of these other places that you can get palettes for on a low low and that perform really well so this is kind of pricey but i guess you're paying for the name anastasia you're paying for this two extra shimmers their palettes usually go for around 42 dollars that's like the standard price for an anastasia palette but we're gonna see we're gonna put it to the test what really drew me to this palette is when i went in store went to alton purchase this the shade Liddy, the shade barb the shade leo and gemini because i'm a gemini honey yes i am breezy for the gemini's um but my one gripe is that these two shades new yorka and og are legit the same shade no 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 kevin kevin stop arguing with me 
These are legit the same shades. They have slightly different undertones. New York is more of a golden undertone and OG is more, pulls more pink or peach, peach undertone. I would have swapped out OG, which is like the peachy, or like a shade like Supreme. For this look, I'm gonna start out with Semsa and that's this beautiful like purpley, pinkish, deep shade right here. Very nice. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M507 brush. I love this brush, it's so precise, it's so small, it's great for packing. And right off the gate, you know, Anastasia sh shadows do have kickback. If you don't like kickback, I don't know what to tell you, but this is what the kickback looks like. And that's with all Anastasia shadows. So we're gonna go ahead and just stamp that. So today I'm gonna do like a wing look. So I'm just gonna start stamping this right here. Ooh, that's pretty. And as I'm stamping, I'm kinda stamp swipe, stamp swipe, stamp swipe. Boom. Stamping and swiping at the same time. I'm stamping to get the payoff and I'm swiping to kind of help me blend before I go in and actually blend. And I have hooded eyes. So as you see, when I open my eyes straight on, I have hooded eyes, you can't really see my lid. So I always take my crease colors higher so that when I cut my crease, you can actually see the cut crease. So that's a tip for any of you people that have hooded, <laughs> any of you people. Ooh, Any of you that have hooded eyes, go above your crease when you're putting in your transition shape. So far so good. It's not patchy. It's building nicely. Now, since I'm not really in the mood for a brown transition shade to blend that out, and that's really all that's afforded to me in this palette, other than this really super light shade right here, which I really don't want to use, I'm going to dip into the Jackie Anna palette. Like, sorry for cheating, but not sorry. I want my look to look the way that I want my look to look. How much wood, 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 cha, 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 what? So I'm gonna go in and just dip into this color Supreme. And I'm gonna take that on my Sigma Blending E36 brush. And what I'm gonna do is lay my brush flat like this. And I'm gonna scratch right up against this edge right here. So this line that's here, I'm just gonna lay my brush flat and just scratch lightly. Keep building building because the thing about it is is that eyeshadow takes a while eyeshadow is not something that you can just like slap on your face and go unless you're doing a one a monochromatic look where you're just putting one shade on your lid sweeping it across and calling it a day when you're doing things like cut creases and all of that stuff glitter and this and that it's going to take a while you want your blending to be as close to perfect as you can get it i'm still learning and that's why i'm here to try to help you learn as well we're going to be learning together so build that color up build that supreme color up over top of the semsa color and just build it up to your liking but remember when you're blending out and you're using this technique you don't need to go in with a heavy hand you don't need to do that light strokes blend things out better than going in and, and being really rough with it so light strokes like barely touching it's like scratching the surface so now I'm gonna go back into that Semsa shade in the uh, Amrezy palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce this and just put back the little bit of color that we lost. But this time I'm gonna go ahead and blend as I go. And I take mine up pretty far, okay? I take mine up to the brow. Okay, she's going to the brow. Go into the brow and we're gonna get blended. I feel like I want to deepen this crease a little bit more, so I'm gonna go into the shade Yugo. And Yugo looks like it's gonna be a beautiful shade. It's like brown, purpley, pinky ish, kinda. It's not like a brown brown, it's like a reddish, pinkish, purplish brown. 
okay sis we we understand we got you it's a brown pinkish purplish brownish pinkish purplish pinkish brownish pink. okay all right okay all right okay all right all right all right and i'm going to take that color on a 506 brush from morphe m506 brush and i'm gonna dip into yugo and we're gonna just go ahead and put this right i'm gonna raise my brow because i still want to see the semsa color but I'm just gonna put this right here, very light hand. Oh, she deep. Oh, she deep, deep. She's showing up, honey. She's clocking in. She came to work early because she wanted to get some work done, okay? And just make sure it's nice and blended. The goal to having a seamless look is to keep going in with the color, reinforcing, reintroducing, reblending your colors. You want them to be as pigmented as they can get and you want each color to stand out on its own while being seamlessly blended at the same time. So this is gonna take time. Don't go, don't go on your lunch break, you know? Don't go on your lunch break yet. You gotta blend these shadows first. Okay, Corbin? Now when your blend gets to where you want it to be, uh, you cut the crease, baby. <laughs> cut the crease, baby. Cut the crease. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Sign me. Madam Jay Z. Diddy. Sign me. Y'all hear my vocals. Stop playing. Okay, so when I cut the crease, I don't use concealer because I feel like concealer is harder for me to control. You take some eyeliner. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Keisha, I just gave you my trick. I just, Candace, you're welcome, boo. So I take the Inklot Gel Liner in 94. As you can see, she's well loved. And I chose this because it has sort of like a pinky base. And I take this. This will allow you to cut your crease and not really mess up because it's an eyeliner consistency. So it gives you less room for error if you will now here's a trick that i'm sure you've seen all over youtube especially when you have hooded eyes you put whatever you're using to cut your crease at the base of your eye you look up see this tiny little mark right here that's where it gives you a guideline to start cutting your crease and then when you cut your crease especially when you have hooded eyes i suggest taking your mirror putting it down and putting your eye down so look down have your mirror like close to your face like this, look down and use that line as a guide. I fill in all around it first and then take the edge point of this brush and cut. So I have the perfect brush for that for intensifying when your cut crease is already on and it's the Sigma Wing Liner Brush. Like a little wing, I dip it right into that Hugo color and then I go right above to deepen. After we do that, just get you a little makeup wipe and I just like to sharpen this edge just like that. So now we got it nice and <laughs> crisp and sharp. And we are a part of the Sharp Nation. Woo! Now, I really want to dip into this shade called Reezy. This shade right here. This shade right here, though. This shade right here. So I'm dipping into that shade Reezy. And I'm going to take some Mac Flick Flick. Mac Flick Flick. Mac Flick Flick. Get a Mac Flick Flick. I'm going to take some Mac Fix Plus spray. And let's see how she goes on. Ooh, that's pretty. You know what, let me go on my face.
finger. I feel like when you put on metallics, using your finger is the best, but I have claws. Nothing can stop the claws! And so it's kind of hard for me to apply, but we gonna try. We, we gonna try today. Oh, it's pretty and it's pink. And we're just gonna go ahead and try to put that on the eye with the finger. Oh, yup, 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 yup. Yup, 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 yup. That's it. That's it, sis. That's it. Ooh. And then what I'm gonna do is take my brush and fine tune it. Get into this right here. Get into it. To give it a little more zhuzh and give it a little more spunk and give it a little bit more spice, I'm gonna go in with this new pigment by Peaches Makeup. This is called Pink Panther. It's so pretty. Hey Peaches, my name is Peaches and I'm the best of the DJs. One. Okay, this is a PG channel. Pretty, pretty. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take it on that same brush. My NYX mixing medium, I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then pat it onto my eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip into that pigment and then I'm just gonna dab the pigment right over. Ooh, that's pretty. That's giving it the, the oomph I needed. That's what the pigment looks like, it's beautiful. And as if that's not enough, I'm gonna go ahead and take this gold liner. This is by JD Glow Cosmetics, liquid gel liner in the shade Empire. And right where we left that little moment, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Next, I think we're gonna go in with a black liner. I'm going into the ColourPop Swerve Gel Liner. We are gonna add some upper hair highlight, but we're gonna do that when we do our highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is both eyes, almost done. Next, we're gonna go into mascara. Okay, y'all, so I'm hype. I'm hype, she hype, she hype, she hype. Because today, I'm gonna be playing with the brand new Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. You gotta go ahead, Riri. Riri's been really seriously killing the game. I know the Navy is really out there, mad, pissed, bewildered that she is not coming out with any new music as of late, but I'm here for the beauty side of Rihanna. I, I'm here for Fenty Beauty. I'm here for Savage X Fenty. I'm here for it. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But it really says, where's your, where's your music? Here's what it looks like. Isn't it cute, guys? Okay, okay. I don't have no lashes, but the lashes I do have are getting full. What do y'all think? You know what? I'll better be able to judge this when I put it on my bottom lashes because Shorty's bottom lashes is bald, honey. And I've got some lashes, some Batty B lashes. Her lashes though, like, her lashes though. Maybe I should go for extra. I think I'm gonna go for extra. We're gonna go for extra. They're cute. So I'm gonna go put the glue on them, put them to the side so they can get tacky, and then I'm gonna start on my base. For foundation today, I'm gonna go into my Cover FX Power Play Foundation, and I am in the shade N80. Oh, I love this foundation so much. Oh my God, this foundation is good. Let me zoom you guys out so we can get a little bit more face. You got to blend down. For all of you who don't blend down, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say and can do, will do, shall do in the future, do, did in the past, will be held and used against you in the court of makeup law. 
And then for concealer today, I'm gonna actually go in with my ColourPop no filter concealer. The first shade I'm gonna go into is Dark 36. It's nice and golden, honey. Oh, she is golden. Now we're gonna take Medium Dark 32, just right here. And finally, we're gonna finish it off with more of the Too Faced Born This Way and kind of bring that here. And I'm gonna let that sit for a second and go into my contour, honey. And for contour today, I'm gonna to go in with the Black Opal Foundation Stick, True Color Foundation Stick in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And what I'm gonna do is literally from my ear to my jaw, make a straight line. straight line and then I'm gonna take this upper part and just go up right here I'm not gonna bring it all the way down I'm just gonna go up right here and then I'm gonna just dot dot around the perimeter of the forehead a little bit under the lip a little bit here here because you want to chisel and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side straight across and up now my face is not symmetrical okay my face is not symmetrical i tried to make it symmetrical but it's not it is what it is she's a lopsided bitch i'm gonna go straight down my nose with this contour stick too and i like to do my contour on my nose first and then later add the highlight now that she's looking like color by number, I'm gonna go into my Morphe E4 brush and blend that out. Now what you wanna do, honey, listen up ladies. Oh shit, I forgot to put my lashes on. Please hold. Back to what I was saying. If you are wearing a wig, PSA, PSA, stop the presses, hot off the press. Pull whatever's holding your wig down, pull it up and blend into that wig line. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Because if I see your contour shade and that wig separated by skin like this, I'm clocking you, sis. Period. Point blank. Period. Period! Don't forget to blend under your lip, honey, because whoop, shells. And here too. Ooh, sometimes people forget to blend this. Me, I'm some people. Spray your sponge. And go in under that eye and blend out. And then what I do is I take my Real Techniques setting brush and I like to spray this as well. And then I pack this under the under eye. This brush is everything. And I like to blend it out all the way to the side of the nose. Now I'm gonna go back in with that ColourPop concealer in the shade 36, and I'm going to put some up here, just a little bit. I don't like to take this too far. Down here, and upper lip for now. Take that same brush, blend it out immediately. And then I'm going to take the excess that I blended in from the top here and bring it down on my nose. And what I like to do is go back in with the blender and just like lightly press over that and then go around the edges of this so that there's no harsh lines. And up here as well. Blend out the sides of the nose. And I like to take the contour up into my brows because I just feel like it makes it my nose look more natural. And just bring that highlight shade down here. I stopped putting like so much like concealer on my nose to highlight because I feel like it makes my nose look like a landing strip. Even though I look keep on my nose to look like a landing strip though. Like, can I breathe? No, but it looks cute. So we're gonna go in and set because already my under eyes is looking like alligator skin. My favorite combo lately has been the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder mixed with the Dermablend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. Uh-uh, where my puff at? Mm-mm. No, sis. Scott? Who do I speak to around here? Woo! 
crisis averted, crisis averted, because I was about to go off about this puff. This is the Laura Mercier puff, and I set my face with this and nothing else. And let me tell you something, this whole video was going to be stopped if I couldn't find it. Parrot poo! And whatever's left. You have been served, laugh lines. Cease and desist. So while that's sitting on there, I go in with my mineral skin finish from MAC in the shade Dark. Put it on there and set this side. And this sort of like brings it back to skin tone color, but it still gives it a definition, you see? Time to <laughs> bronze, honey. And today I'm going in with two bronzers and they're both from Anastasia. And I have the shade Saddle and I also have the shade Mahogany. Honey. That's a bronzer. I love these uh, bronzers, but if any of you have like any other suggestions, um, like the Lip Bar No has a bronzer and Mented Cosmetics I know has a good bronzer for deep complexions. And I wanna know how they are. I think I'm gonna buy those uh, and test them out and see how I like them. Um, only reason I have these Anastasia ones is because uh, they were readily available at Ulta and I just picked them up a while ago and I've had them ever since. Um, but I really want to start wearing some like black owned uh, bronzers to give the girls, you know, like options for deeper skin tones. Like this is the darkest one from Anastasia. This is not going to work for deeper skin tones. Like it, it works on me <laughs> and it might work on a shade, like maybe a shade or two lighter, darker than me, but it's not going to work for shades darker than that. So I would really love to find some bronzers that I can represent on my channel that have shades for deeper skin tone. I feel like, child don't even get me started today, but I feel like to find things that work for us being deeper complexions, we really have to search. You know, people of lighter complexions don't really have to search for things that work well on their skin tone. And it's a shame that we have to search. So if you guys know of anything, any black owned businesses, brands, makeup, cosmetic lines that cater to us, list below. Cause we got to uh, do better makeup community. I'm gonna take this pencil brush from Morphe. It's the M431. Or is that a seven? Child, I can't see. M431. And I'm gonna go back into the Amrezy palette and I'm gonna take this color Wasted and I'm gonna pop a smidge of that into my brow bone and just put it right here. No, where's she at? She's, she didn't come in today. She's not, she's, uh, she. Nope, nope, nope. Let's finish up these brows, shall we? Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. And I'm just gonna brush that through. Okay, so now we're gonna do the under eye. We're gonna go ahead and finish off these eyes. So I'm taking the Sigma Waterline Liner E17. And I'm taking Semsa, which was that beautiful purple shade that we used in the crease. Wait, that's not what I wanted. I didn't, I didn't want that. You go. You. So we got that down. Now we're gonna go in with Semsa. <laughs> now for a little extra pop, I'm gonna go in with that mixing medium again. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit into my lower tear duct area. And I'm gonna take this beautiful shade Liddy. Oh my God, so pretty Liddy. I'm gonna put this on my lower inner. Yeah. 
So now I'm going to go in with my inner corner highlight. I know exactly what I want to do for this. I'm going to take that shade Leo, that beautiful blue shade honey. <laughs> Let's dust away some of that fallout. So for liner today, I'm gonna to go into my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. She's a pink, she's in the shade Boots. Ooh, she cute or whatever. Very cute. So now we're gonna use this Fenty Mascara again and see. Let's put it to the test on these lower lashes because Shorty has zero lower lashes. Cute. For blush, I'm going into the Milani blush. This is in Dolce Pink. On the apples of my cheeks, so pretty. Listen, <laughs> I'm a blush bitch, okay? I love blush. I, I love blush. Like, honestly, I apply blush everywhere. Like, do we look like we have a cold? Because <laughs> that's the look I'm going for. <laughs> okay, now that we're blushed to filth, I'm gonna give my face a nice spray. I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Palette. So I'm gonna put use a little bit of this, and then on top, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty What a Brat. What a brat, what a brat, what a brat, what a brat, what a brat. It's like pure glitter on the face, like seriously. Then I'm gonna go into What a Brat, and then just put that on top. Took it to a new level, honey. I'm a highlight hoe. If you don't like to pile the highlight on, what are you doing here, sis? Were you invited? Who invited you, Keisha? That's pretty. All right, like how much am I gonna glow? This is ridiculous. But is it though? Let's go into lips. Now, I'm already cut crease to the gods, highlighted to fill, mm, but we're gonna go extra step. At this point, you can throw in a nude lip, call it a day, and go out with your man, but I'm gonna go ahead and just live my full extra fantasy and do me a nice pink lip. I'm a bold bitch, so. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop lip liner in the shade. I heart this. I'm gonna go in with soft lilac. And right in the very center, I just wanna take a little brighter. I'm gonna just say F it and go in with real lipstick. I mean, who gonna tell me I can't? On the very inner. And just because I don't feel like that's enough, I'm gonna go in with this Kylie Topper called Don't Slip. Very cute, it's like purpley pink. Very reflective, cause why not? Why the hell not? Mm, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like cake. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of fussy gloss on top from Riri. And I'm just gonna dab it on, just for like a little extra added gloss look. Woo! Yes! And I'll be right back with the final look. And here you have it guys, the finished makeup look. Okay, I'm feeling very Barbie-ish. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna hold you. <laughs> Giving me all the light. Wait a minute. Oh, my mother's watching. Please hold. 
Okay, that's better. Yes, I put on my holy attire. Um, I'm blessed, saved, and highly favored. Thank you so much. But yes, this is the finished makeup look. I'm really happy with how it came out. I really love the Amrezy palette. All in all, I would say it's a great palette. You can create so many looks with this. I just think that the variety is there. I'm not mad at this look at all. It's quite beautiful. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you like it, definitely press that like button, subscribe to my channel. We be lit, we be turned up, we spill the tea. And we just have an all around good time. So if you wanna to continue to have a good time, turn on your post notifications so that you know every time I upload a video. And also if you wanna see how I got this cute little hair look, quite simple, very cute, that video will be up soon. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video, for coming to my channel. I truly appreciate you. And I will see you on the next one, boo.